Okay, using the custom kit builder, first you go to our site under how to, you'll find a uh, custom kit builder. Just click on that. Let's open it up to full screen. And uh, there's some salesy stuff here um, that you can read, and it's worthwhile so that you understand it fully and you understand what other people are seeing. But let's get started. Let's do a design. So first we get started, and you can choose between home or business. We're going to do a home system. Okay, now this section here is really for education. This is more as if someone hasn't used a system before and they want to know more about housings. This tells you about the housings. Uh, if you come up here and you're curious about lenses, then you can read this. If you want to understand night vision or resolution. But it kind of helps people who haven't used this before understand the different options. Uh, since you've already gone through this course, you already know all this. So let's go on to next. Now here you can choose between Cyber Secure and ProView. Now we're doing a home and then, you know, you've got more information here on the differences between the two. But we're going to use ProView for this system. And then you just get right into the camera. So let's say we're doing a three camera system. Let's say four camera system for a house. Let's keep it simple. First, you just pick the first camera you're starting with. And we know, okay, it's going to be a dome camera. And the target point for this first camera is under 60 feet. And let's say that the soffit is dark. So first thing we want to do is call it, name the camera. So let's say uh, driveway. Okay. And then let's select the Pro 90D 4K black as that camera. There's our first camera. Now let's go again and let's uh, let's select the second camera. Maybe they've got a long range one and they want to be able to see down the road a ways. We're trying to capture plates. This is my favorite camera for capturing plates because of the incredible zoom. So I'm going to put a, a Pro 240 in there. I forgot to name it. So I can come up here and I can name it as a street camera. Okay. And let's add two more cameras, and let's say they're just around the back of the house, and they're going to be under 60 feet. Um, we don't need anything fancy. Um, let's say we can even use 3K, and let's use two of the Pro uh, 60 VW. So you can jump between resolutions here as well. You can also look for manual zoom. If there's a manual zoom camera, you can use that or a motorized zoom. So all the options are right here on selecting the camera. And let's just call this backyard. Okay, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and use the 3K camera and we're gonna do the Pro 60. There we go. Now we gotta add one more because we're doing a fourth and so let's do another Pro 60. And uh, again, I forgot to name it. So let's go um, backyard number two. Okay, those are the four cameras I want to put in the system. So I click next. Now it knows that you've got uh, four cameras in there. So it knows you can use a four camera pro. So it's recommending this one. But remember our, what we're talking about. We always talk about wanting room to grow. So usually we recommend going to an eight channel unit. So we're gonna select that unit right there and we'll go to next. Now we've gotta figure out the hard drives. Now we know we have four cameras, um, which is already populated and for a week of storage, continuously, let's say we wanna do it for 4K. Uh, and we're gonna go 20 frames a second. That's pretty reasonable for recording. It recommends that we have a four terabyte hard drive based on this information. So we're gonna add that into the cart. Okay, and you can change it and you can add more. Now, there's options for cables. Maybe the customer is going to provide their own. Maybe they want uh, self-made. They want to make their own. But let's say let's make pre-made cables for this customer. Um, so we're going to go next. And the first thing is the cable from the video recorder to the internet modem. It's usually a five-foot cable because the, the video recorder is next to the internet modem usually. But you can change the distance here. But let's add one for that. Let's go to our first camera here. This is our driveway camera. And it's going to be, the cable can be indoor because we're running the cable through the attic, let's say. And let's say that it's 25 feet from the video recorder. 
we've just got that, that cable figured out for that one. Let's say that this camera here is outdoor and we've got to go 100 feet with that. We can just add that cable. The first, uh, the backyard camera here, uh, the cable can be indoor and let's say it's 75 feet. And then the last cable, it can be indoor as well because it's going through the attic, but maybe we need 100 foot on that. Okay, now we've got the cables all figured out for these cameras. We go to next. Now we can put other things in. For example, if we wanted to do, uh, put a monitor in for the client. We can go ahead and add that in. We can select mounts. Now there'll be a better population here for mounts here in the next day or two, but for each camera, you can add a mount, whatever you want to add. Okay. Once you, if they need mounts, and then you go to the next one. Now this is the installation part. And let's say, yeah, maybe they wanted installation or maybe they want a price for installation. You can add that into the system as well and it'll break it out as a line item. So let's go ahead and add that in. Or you can just click, to, uh, the customers will be installing it themselves. We click next and now it's saying that we can continue reviewing the system or we can proceed to purchase or quote. We wanna quote this, so we're gonna click on that. Now it takes that entire design, it packages it, and it puts it into the shopping cart. With all the free stuff, everything that's going on, that's everything that you need. Now you can either go ahead and check out right now, but that's not what we wanna do. You've just done this custom design for a client. We wanna email them the quote. So put their, put their name in. Uh, if they're a company, put that in there. Put their email in. Okay. Uh, their phone number, best time to call, anything like that. This, this kind of helps us if uh, we know how they were contacted us, whether it was a phone call or an email, and what time zone they're in. But the important part, this stuff here you can fill out if you want to and you don't have to, but the, the important thing here is you've created this design or this quote. Now we need to attach you to the quote. So here you go to select uh, representatives and let's say that you're a rep in California and you click California and then it lists the reps that are available in California. So let's say that you're, uh, you know, uh, Keaton Booby. Okay, now uh, that's it. You can put notes in here that will show up on the quote. If you want to describe something in detail, you can just type it in here. When you're all complete with that, you click Get Quote. Give it a second. It has to think about it and get it done. Now it says your quote has been sent to Mac at Backstreet Surveillance, and you click OK. Now that same email quote has been sent to you. As, as the designer. So you are to click on the, the link on that email and download the PDF file uh, so that you can review it uh, or, and save it for later, you know, when questions might come up. Keep in mind the sell cycle can be from a few days to several months. And sometimes I have people call up and go, hey, we're ready to go. And I'm like, I barely remember who you are. Let me pull up the quote and whatnot and let me refresh my memory. So always keep the quotes and things like that. Now we'll have them on file too in your sales rep. If you, if you can't find one or if you need any help doing a quote or placing the order with one of your quotes or you're not sure how to do anything, your sales rep's the key. Uh, that is their job. They are compensated to support you and their goal is your success. So use them because they're a good tool.